Hello everyone. Today I'm here with you bringing new topic in electricity and magnetism. Especially targeted for grid to wheel. Um, all effect is the phenomenon of creating potential difference between the edges of the specimen when a magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the direction of current. In this case, I have considered a solid specimen which is subjected to electric field in the x direction. See, negative terminal of this battery is connected to the left end and the positive terminal is connected to the right end of the specimen. Magnetic field is applied along the z-axis. The electrons would experience the Lorentz force that is directed downward as suggested by Fleming's left hand rule. So electron move def being deflected down. So the lower edge of the specimen will, will have negative charge density, while the corresponding positive charge density will be on the upper edge of the specimen. So there is potential difference created between the lower edge and the upper edge of the specimen. The lower edge is at lower potential and the upper edge is at higher potential. This potential difference is called the Hall voltage and the corresponding electric field that is the transverse electric field we call transverse because it is perpendicular to the direction of both electric and magnetic field. Here applied electric field is in the direction x direction and magnetic field is in the z direction. That whole electric field is in the y direction. So it is perpendicular to both applied magnetic field bz and the direction of current. We consider, we have considered the electrons as charge carriers. So drift velocity is directed this way from left to right. Okay, we can find the expression for all voltage by using that simple concept. The, the electrons would experience a power force due to the all electric field. Remember that the all electric field is exerting a power force while the magnetic field is exerting downward Lorentz force. The steady state will be raised when the force due to all electric field balances the force due to the magnetic field. In this condition, electron would again experience zero net force. Let me share. What actually is going on there? The first case, no magnetic field is applied and the electrons are moving straight from one end to the other. Now the magnetic field is applied. They experience the Lorentz force and are deflected to the one side of the specimen, creating the potential difference between two edges. Okay. In steady state, 
the electron would again move in a straight path as if there is no forces are acting on them. The steady state can be written mathematically as yeah you can see over here the steady state is the total downward force due to magnetic field is equal to upward force due to all field ui and you know the lorentz force that is due to magnetic field is given by bqb sine theta in general here in this case magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the direction of motion of electrons so expression becomes bqv here we have attached z to represent the direction of applied magnetic field and x with v represents the electrons are drifting in the x direction the force due to electric field all electric field actually is given by qe in general and for electron small e times the whole electric field the y attached here represents the direction of all field the small e cancels and what is left is in equation one now we convert this equation by using the definition of current density you know current density is given by jx is equal to nevx the minus sign over here shows the charge carriers or the current carriers are the electrons from this you have vx is equal to minus jx upon any now substitute the value of vx from equation 2 in equation 1 then what you get is okay check over here bz bx is now minus jx upon any and right side is ui from this ui is equal to rs bz jx we have replaced minus one upon any by rh that is constant per given specimen and is called the hall coefficient here n is the electron density of the specimen e is the charge of the electron and the negative sign indicates that the charge carriers or the current carriers are the electrons or the negative charges so for the positive charges all coefficient will be positive so we can write rs is equal to one upon nq and from equation three value of rh is equal to ui upon jx bz now we can obtain an expression for electron concentration by just by interchanging or rearranging the positions of the variables there okay now what you have got is n is equal to jx bz upon q e y but from the basic definition the current density is current per unit area that area is actually the cross-sectional area here i have represented that area by the crisscross lines over there in that phase see height is y and thickness is t so the area is y into t 
and the whole field is given by V upon Y. V is the whole voltage and Y is the distance between the upper and lower edge of the specimen. After substituting, you get N is equal to IBZ upon TQV. Now you can generalize by writing N is equal to BI upon VET. For electron, you know, Q is equal to small e. And expression for the whole voltage looks like V is equal to BI upon NET. You remember these two expressions such that you can use them to solve some simplest of the numericals, numerical problems. Now you can use Hall effect to find the sign of the charge carrier because for negative charges, all coefficient is negative. For positive charges, all coefficient is positive. And as we have already seen, we can calculate the carrier concentration. Carrier concentration means the electron density or in general, the charge density. Next, you can directly measure the mobility. Mobility means drift speed of charges per unit electric field. You can directly measure mobility of the charges. We can decide whether the material is metal semiconductor or insulator. And from the knowledge of Hall voltage, the unknown magnetic field can be measured provided the Hall constant of the material is known. Using Hull effect, many different types of Hall sensors are constructed for the daily life use. For example, in the airport, you can see the hand dryers in bathroom or washroom, they work on the basis of Hall effect. Hall, if, Hall sensors can be used as switch. Hall effects can be used in heat engines to control the working of crankshaft and camshaft. Thank you very much.